Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Garrick Shett. Uh, Garrick's going to be the 10th um, Charles Porter lecturer. Uh, this is in memory of the co-founder of uh, CCR, Charles Porter, who was an um, internist, uh, cardiologist, and um, was very encouraging to a young rheumatologist that wanted to start a CME meeting. And we actually started this in the basement of our, our um, hospital. We had 30 people. I think the only one that was there from uh, that's here today is James Jakes, besides myself. Um, Gehrig is uh, the chief of uh, internal medicine at uh, University of Erlanger in um, Erlangen in Germany. Um, he's a native of Austria. He did his undergraduate studies and his medical degree at the uh, University of Innsbruck. Um, he has uh, a number of memberships in international societies and editorial boards. Uh, he's a member of the program committee of the um, Osteoarthritis Research Society International. He's been a recipient of a award of excellence in clinical research. And um, this morning he's going to talk on news on bone erosion and rheumatoid arthritis. Georg. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I first want to thank uh, Pam and David for inviting me uh, to this conference and I um, had the opportunity yesterday to meet a lot of fellows here and uh, we had very open discussion about uh, the challenge, challenges and chances for uh, their further career and uh, I think it was a very open and meeting which uh, touched me very much and I want to start with uh, some ideas from this meeting uh, if I can manage this uh, system, but I hope so. Um, so I think a lot has changed and, uh, uh, during the last years and uh, science has uh, developed fastly and also uh, the work of a doctor has dramatically changed and uh, I think that uh, to be a scientist and a doctor at the same time is clearly an endangered species. It's, at least in my hand it's more and more difficult to attract people to do science and uh, treating patients. But this endangered species, I think, is very important for our future because also as a doctor treating pa patients in private practice, you share the curiosity with scientists and you want to know how, your, how the diseases work and you want to know how your drugs work. So it's very important that science and treatment of patients are strongly, um, are, uh, are closely together. And uh, I think for uh, uh, the, the importance uh, to be, uh, this, have this close connection between science and uh, clinical work is the fact that we need persons who understand the disease, who see the, the patient and have the clinical knowledge of the, of the human disease to ask the right questions. And on the other hand, it's important that we have people who know the appropriate modeling of a disease, to do, know the animal models, to know techniques, to uh, study uh, the processes of a disease. And uh, I think this is, uh, this is very important and uh, I think this will be the future challenges of uh, science and medicine. So you have heard um, um, a lot about Ian and his uh, tequila uh, experience yesterday and maybe you will go out uh, with uh, about in, uh, at this meeting that uh, there is a, uh, a rheumatologist from Scotland who drinks tequila and uh, an example I want to give you now um, and it's a, an example I think which comes not from medicine so you probably remember this much better than all the rheumatology ideas you, you hear during this meeting. It's an example from, from, uh, from animals and it's an example where a question, a very simple question uh, raises a new idea and a new science. So. Um, the question is, um, where do all the dead whales go? And uh, not, I, don't, I don't mean these whales which are media stars and go to the beach and uh, decide to die there and all the people run and try to rescue them and tear them out in the open water and then they swim again to the beach just to at attract attention. Most of the whales don't do that. They just die silently probably. Or they are catched by a Japanese ship, but uh, this is more more and more unlikely. So this uh, is a carcass of a whale and this carcass was found uh, by chance in a, in a, mont 